This area is, is just charming, to be honest, just like a slice of heaven. Bucolic Beaver Dam sits about 3,500 miles from Peru. The first word is quiet. It's very quiet, very peaceful. But parts of this farm on Coatesville Road resemble South America. Hi. Good boy, sweet man. Alpacas call Meadowgate Farm home. They're like pets. They're like family. They're like your kids. They're, they're like friends. They're, just, they're just, just great animals. If you're an animal lover, very, very difficult to not fall hard yeah. in love with alpacas. Owners Nicole and Stephen Phillips took a leap of faith nearly six years ago when they purchased their first three alpacas. Come on, Noxie. It was love Come on. at first touch. When they're at their fluffiest, which is right now for us, um, they're just so huggable. Since then, their herd has grown to about 30. They hold nothing back, so they offer up themselves to you yeah. completely. The 10-acre Meadowgate farm is a family affair. Two of the couple's four children help manage and show the lovable animals and run the business's social media. We remind ourselves all the time about how blessed we are. The Phillips say their creatures are curious and shy and not aggressive. They're as kind of cute on the inside as they are on the outside, to be yeah. honest. Their affection and attention are on full display, even when strange-looking journalists drop by for a visit, asking far too many questions. This is a Phoenix baby. His name is Copper. Come on, Vinny. Alpacas can warm your heart and neck. First thing to know about uh, alpaca fiber is that it is, um, it is warmer and softer and lighter than wool. Each April, the Meadowgate alpacas part with their fiber. On average, an alpaca will give you between 5 and 10 pounds of fiber. After processing, the Phillips create custom items. We choose the animals that we want to have the products made from. So, for example, this is Pippa. Um, this is a Phoenix scarf. And now we have alpacas. <laughs> and four children. The small, family-run company is getting big-time attention. And then our older two, our grown adults, out of school, doing things off the farm. This winter, the Phillips were featured on National Geographic Wild's TV show, Going for Gold. This is a labor of love mm -hmm. more than a, a, a labor of, you know, financial reward. Steve and Nicole say there's plenty of room at the farm. We'll go down to another barn. Yeah. They're always quick to share their knowledge with people interested in owning this lovable livestock. Sometimes they just want honest advice that will um, prevent them from making mistakes that we made when you first start out. Mm -hmm. You can make some really expensive mistakes in this business and we try to help others not do that. Alpaca Farmer was never something they intended for their resume, but Nicole and Steve say their decision just feels right. We know we don't want to get larger. Um, we have room for more animals, but we don't want to grow the herd because then we lose the touch of individual animals. We're more about like sustainability and, mm -hmm. and being environmentally friendly and, um, and cautious with our animals. The Phillips family of Beaver Dam. There they go. Business owners who say working with their beloved colleagues is sheer joy. Just being able to have it be something that we all do together is that's like it's like winning the lottery. It's here at home. It's a beautiful space. So very, very happy with all of it. If you would like to learn more about the alpacas at Meadowgate and their fluffy products, or perhaps tour the farm, I have that information on our show website, WTVR.com. For I Have a Story, I'm Greg McQuaid, CBS 6 News.